Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Crystal and I like to do lots of home decor, DIYs, and just a bunch of projects and I like to share them with you. Um, today I'm participating in another challenge that Heidi Sambal is hosting and this one is the DIY fall floral arrangement um, and the challenge is by using Dollar Tree items. Um, her co-host this week is Maria from Artsy Cupcake. So I'm going to have both of their channels listed in the description box and the playlist to this challenge if you want to check out what everybody else does because last week I was blown away how much creativity is in this world. So um, I'm going to start by showing you what I bought at the Dollar Tree. I spent $20 and I feel like that's a really good deal considering I got a lot of um, flowers and I love my arrangements to be super full so even if I have to buy cheaper flowers to make it look full I think it makes it look more expensive because it's so full if that makes sense anyway I'm gonna start off with the filler or the main flowers that I got I got these white they're cream um, and I just think they're gonna be so pretty and then for my color I'm adding this burnt orange I am loving this color this fall and if you saw my um, previous video of my haul you will see I bought a bunch of things that were burnt orange so um, I love those and then these are my, my filler flowers they're just a little bit of a different texture but they're the same color as the white ones and then I picked up two different kinds of berries these really big ones I almost bought something just like this at Hobby Lobby um, for $9.99 a stem so I'm glad I found these for only a dollar. Um, and then another berry I got were these. This, I've already taken this apart, but it comes in, a, I bought two stems and you get all these. But I loved the mustard on these ones. And then I bought some twig looking um, picks, just because I love the extra texture that there is. I'm not gonna use this in, um, this arrangement but I also found these that I thought were such a steal Hobby Lobby has these and they're nine dollars for one even so even at 40 percent off um, it's really expensive so I got these they have so I got they have like a orange color and then more of like a darker orange so I got those and then I got these um, I was gonna do another um, DIY with them, so stay tuned for that. I hope I can find the right canister. I saw something at Kirkland's and I thought, man, I could probably make that myself for way cheaper. So I'm gonna try, but not in today's video. Today's video, we are gonna make the basket for the door. Um, I got this basket at Hobby Lobby. It's very inexpensive. You can get it with your coupon for like $7. And then inside, I just have a foam, a piece of foam. And um, I've already done this because I already filmed this video and I went to edit it and it was all gone. So here I am again. So that is why there are holes in here already, but it doesn't really matter. But just in case you were wondering. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start with our big flowers first. That is how I like to do all arrangements. So I have five of these. And I'm going to start with just poking one right in the middle. And I want these to be pretty low to the um, basket because we're going to add other things that are going to be higher. So I'm just going to add these all in. And you don't have to worry necessarily what the back looks like because um, this is going to be hanging on a door and nobody will see the back. So make sure the front looks good. You can determine whatever side you want to be the front. And in this case, this is my front. So I'm just kind of separating them as I go. And then I'm going to put one on the end here. I just want this to look really full. So whatever that means, I mean, for the price of these flowers, it you can you can do that. I mean, even just this alone, the white flowers alone would look so cute. But 
we're extra around here, so we're gonna add some more. And now I'm gonna add these orange flowers um, right in front here. So there's gonna be like a layer of orange and they have also have little berries on it so it adds just a little bit more texture. And I'm gonna add this one right here. Some of it I'm actually not sticking into the foam and some of it I am. And then I'm gonna try and pull out some of these white flowers um, around them. So there's, there's that so far, isn't that so cute? And then I'm gonna add these white filler flowers. So next is just where we're gonna fill in where we think we might need a little bit of extra. Um, I'm just pushing in really hard. And then I'm kind of gonna separate these out. So you, they're all over, because I only have two of these. So you don't want them all bunched up. Can you see that? And then I'm gonna add the other one over here, like more towards the back, I see. Whoops. Honestly, this just is like trial and error to make it. But what I love about floral arrangements, I don't like perfectly symmetrical ones. I like um, ones that are wispy and whimsical. So I like things that are coming out the sides and out the top and you'll see what I mean in just a second. Okay, so that's where we're at so far. And I think that's pretty cute. Um, I'm gonna add these twigs, that's what I've, called, I've been calling them, to the back to just add that whimsical look that um, I love so much. And this one you are gonna want to spread out um, quite a bit. Pull the white flowers back. Pull this one to the side. Like I said, the back doesn't really matter. I mean, if you wanted the back to look good, you could definitely make it look good, but I don't really care. Okay, so that's where we're at. Now, next I'm gonna add these big berries. Um, and I'm going to add those, one of those right next to where I added those. Um, little flowers and you want to push them down so ones like that and then I'm gonna add the other one right next to it okay I think that looks really cute, but this is gonna be where I think it all comes together is with these yellow berries because we are gonna just make them all crazy and wispy, that's what I like to call it. And so I'm gonna start with this one on the side here and I just want it like poking out, like just like that. And then I'm gonna take the other one and do it on the other side. So you have them like that. And then I'm gonna take the rest of them and just kind of fill in right here in the middle. lot right there I think I'm going to add another this other one right there
okay, this is how it turned out. I think it looks really cute and I love the different layers that I have going on and all the different textures and the colors. Okay guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you loved how this turned out. I love it so much and I can't wait to hang it up. It's not quite fall yet, but it's going to be before we know it. Um, don't forget to check out your local dollar store because they have some really darling florals. They have even more than I bought. So um, I just picked neutral colors because that's kind of my theme or what I'm going for, but you could pick bright oranges. They have some purple, so many pretty ones. Anyway, don't forget to check out Heidi and Maria. Their links are in the description box below. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'd love to have you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.